is media don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe so check this out Stephen A. Smith and Jason Whitlock are now what coming to defend Malika Andrews and I don't have a clip on me but Stephen A. Smith basically said that you know he usually minds his business but because it's Malika everybody's going at his colleague we're jumping to conclusions and he's still talking about we got to be careful and tiptoe around and then you got Jason Whitlock who's pretty much saying the same thing to my he didn't he don't really follow basketball and he didn't know who Josh Giddy was and he would keep that same energy if it was um, another if it was a black athlete if he wasn't from America so everybody wanted to defend Malika Andrews BS I really want to say something else but I can't say it on here number one the issue is and we keep saying this and shout out to everybody online the same level of aggressiveness that y'all have towards black athletes we want y'all to have across the board see it'd be one thing if somebody says something you just brought it up no Malik could be going in and shout out to Dez Bryant for calling her out on that it's so obvious right that everybody can see it even if you in pitch black in the middle of the night with no lights on around you you can see it in front of your face clear as day but see the corporate media they still try to act like people like us the ones online don't mean nothing but the problem is well the problem for them is we're getting so big online and even they're crossing over to us it's too late the days of y'all just ridiculing black athletes is gone now again if Malika was going to be fair across the board, at least we can say, okay, well, she's fair with this. But in one, in one instance, when Umayo Duck would do something, it's almost like you would think that he did something that was an illegal when he just broke a, a company policy. Brandon Miller, who was not charged by a crime by the state of Alabama, you come at him as if he was a part of something. And the list goes on and on when it comes to black athletes. But when it comes to somebody like Josh Giddy, shh. And I'm going to tell you what really tipped me off, honestly. One of the reasons why I got into content. When Dana White smacked his wife on camera, nobody said anything. Everybody wanted to make excuses. Now, from what I remember, she did hit him first. But could you imagine if, Le- if if Dana White was LeBron or Floyd Mayweather or Carmelo Anthony? Even if it was Giannis Akintakupo, that would be all over. Malika Andrews would probably be on ESPN crying and saying he should be suspended. And how could he ever put his hands on a woman? But when somebody has a partnership with y'all... Y'all go on there and y'all defend his overall character to the point to where Molly went on there and said, I don't believe in cancel culture. This is one of the reasons why ESPN has fallen off. I don't watch ESPN like I used to for my younger subscribers in the, the 90s and the 2000s. It was totally different. They actually talked about sports, but they've almost shifted in another direction. And they preach equality and everybody's right, but they really go in on a black athlete. But when we cry out to say, hey, make it fair, y'all say, oh, we need to see all the evidence. Well, what about when Stephen A went in on Kevin Porter Jr.? And now his girl or girl at the time is coming out and, ref- and refuting the evidence that the DA has said but Stephen A said oh we can be sued but you didn't have that and I wish I had an audio you said that Brandon Miller I mean Brandon Miller Kevin Porter Jr. deserves to be in jail if this is true why you couldn't say the same thing about Josh Giddy? or why you can't say look look these are serious charges 
if this is true, Josh won't have to be done from the NBA. That's all you could have said. But no, when it comes to somebody else's, all we need to see the evidence. And okay, well then you need to keep that same injury for black athletes. And I'm gonna hold y'all to it. And everybody else online gonna hold y'all to it moving forward. The next time a black athlete does something, we want y'all to keep that same corporate energy. Because Kyrie Irving put out a tweet. And not only was the man fine, but it was to the point where they was gonna think about making him go on an apology tour. But yet y'all say that things have changed and it's not how it used to be back in the day. But y'all ridiculed a black athlete as the villain. And it's okay for even now black analysts attack the athlete because we know, oh, it's not going to really ruffle too many feathers. But don't you dare say nothing about somebody else. ESPN, y'all. But that's just my two cents on it. What do y'all think about this whole situation?